students this is madhu dharmapuri in this video lecture we are going to discuss about gauss law for magnetism very very important concept in magnetism one of the equations of maxwell's equations right and gauss law for magnetism states that the net magnetic flux passing through any closed surface is always zero the net magnetic flux passing through any closed surface is always zero see how do we find out the uh, magnetic flux passing through closed surface see generally uh, just look at this picture so consider a closed surface placed in the magnetic field and in order to find out magnetic flux passing through this closed surface we divide this closed surface into a large number of uh, small area elements and find out magnetic flux passing through each and every area element and that is d pi b the magnetic flux passing through each and every area element and all of them are contributing to the total magnetic flux passing through the closed surface and if i want total magnetic flux passing through a closed surface that will be integration of this that is uh, uh, sum of the individual magnetic fluxes passing through uh, these uh, area elements small area elements that we have considered that is pi b equal to integral closed surface s b dot ds because it is a closed surface but what gauss law is saying this whatever we have calculated using the mathematical equation is vanishing the total magnetic flux passing through any closed surface is always zero is always zero right so this is gauss law for magnetism this equation or this statement both are same and the proof for this gauss law for magnetism is very simple see we know that a magnetic field line form a closed loop they form closed continuous curves we have discussed this when uh, in the case of magnetic field lines in one of my previous video lectures i will provide the link of that in the description column of this video right the magnetic field lines form closed loops they are continuous curves right that means what is that meaning they start at and end at same point they come back to its original point where it was started they start and end at same point the example for this closed uh, loops of magnetic field lines is for example if you take a bar magnet with north pole and south pole as shown in this picture and magnetic field lines going out from north pole entering south pole outside the magnet north to south and inside the magnet south to north so they form closed loops right similarly here consider the current carrying conductor with some current i flowing through it and it is a source of magnetic field current carrying conductor so what are the magnet how how magnetic field lines look like for this case see keep your thumb uh, right hand thumb in the direction of uh, current and wrap your fingers around this conductor then your fingers direction will be the magnetic uh, field direction so here magnetic field lines are again continuous curves forming closed loops so concentric circles they are coming out at, uh, from this side and entering this side so they are forming a closed curves closed loops right so 
So this is very clear from these magnetic field lines of bar magnet and current carrying conductor that magnetic field lines form closed loops. This will help us, this will help us to prove that magnetic flux passing through a closed surface is always zero. Let us see how. Okay. So let me take out this. So for example, so what is the equation? Let me write it here. Phi B equal to integral B bar dot ds bar is equal to zero. So this is Gauss law for magnetism. Right. So consider one closed surface. So let us say it is sphere, not circle. Okay. And magnetic field lines. The sphere is placed in a magnetic field, which is a closed surface. The sphere is a three-dimensional surface. Right? And we know that outside magnetic flux, the flux, the magnetic field lines which are going outside are leaving the surface, lead to the positive magnetic flux. And magnetic field lines entering the surface, that is inverse flux, was negative. This we have seen in the previous video lecture when we have discussed about magnetic flux through a closed surface right and because the magnetic field lines form closed loops for example if it is starting from here and it should come back to this point if it is starting from here it should come back to this point right which means the number of magnetic field lines Going out from this surface is exactly equal to the number of magnetic field lines entering this surface. Because they are forming closed loops, the number of magnetic field lines leaving this surface is exactly equal to the number of magnetic field lines entering this surface because they have formed closed loops. Right? The number of magnetic field lines leaving the surface what is this means outwards flux outward flux what is the what is it it is positive right number of magnetic field lines leaving the surface is equal to number of magnetic field lines entering the surface entering the surface that is inverse flux negative Right? So number of magnetic field lines leaving the surface is exactly equal to number of magnetic field lines entering the surface. That means positive magnetic flux is equal to negative magnetic flux. And the net magnetic flux will be zero. They cancel each other. So outward magnetic flux. Outward magnetic flux cancels inwards magnetic flux. Right? Hence, hence, net magnetic flux. Th 
through closed surface is zero. Very simple. This is the proof. Outward magnetic flux cancels inwards magnetic flux. The number of magnetic field lines going out is exactly equal to number of magnetic field lines entering because they form closed loops. And this positive cancels with negative because magnetic flux outwards is exactly matching with the inverse magnetic flux. The magnitude is equal, but that is plus and this is minus. And the net magnetic flux will be zero because they cancel each other. Very simple. Right? So from here we can confirm one thing that the surface integral of a net magnetic field over a closed surface is zero. Over a closed surface is zero. And magnetic field lines form closed loops and they start at and end at the same point, which means that they start from north and enter south and inside south to north magnetic monopoles do not exist this we can say magnetic monopoles do not exist see magnet is always available in Unlike phase north and south, if there is only one pole, the closed loop formation is not possible. The closed loop formation is not possible. See, for example, north, from north pole it is going out and entering south pole. Outside magnet, it is the magnetic field lines are like this north to south. Right? Only inside it is going from south to north. See, if there is no other pole, if there is only one pole, how can it form a closed loop? Right? So, magnet is always available in unlike pair of poles, that is south and north. Okay? So, this is very, very important concept. Magnetic monopoles do not exist. And with this equation, that is in the form of integral, we will now try to see what is the differential form of uh, Gauss law for magnetism. So the equation of Gauss law for magnetism that we have seen till now is in the form of integral, right? So that is integral form of Gauss law. Closed integral over a surface is equal to zero. This is in integral form. So, integral form of Gauss law, this is called as using this, we will derive differential form of Gauss law with the help of Gauss divergence theorem. So, from Gauss divergence theorem, So we know that P bar dot ds bar will be equal to volume integral del dot P bar dv. And we know from here that this is equal to zero. So we get del bar dot d bar dv is equal to 0. So, we get del bar dot d bar is equal to 0. So, this is differential form of Gauss law. Differential form of Gauss law. Divergence of magnetic field 
is zero. Means see divergence of any vector zero means that vector is solenoidal in nature. So here, so magnetic field vector is solenoidal in nature. Okay, so that is magnetic field vector is solenoidal in nature. What does this mean? This means that del bar dot d bar is equal to zero means that no source, no sink. No source, no sink means monopoles not existing, magnetic monopoles do not exist. So from here you can say magnetic monopoles do not exist. No source, no sink. They form closed loops. Magnetic field is a solenoidal in nature. Magnetic monopoles do not exist. So this is a differential form of Gauss law and this is integral form of Gauss law. Okay, hope you have understood. If you have any doubts regarding this lecture, you can put your doubts under the comment section. Thank you very much.